Greg G Chronicles right here. I'm just chilling right now in my fucking uh, kitchen, living room. Fucking thing, it's all the same. I'm bleating the one. I'm in the halfway point, not the halfway house. So as I'm playing Madden, I can't help but hear. I'm just, just getting annoyed. You know, just like don't. I just fucking fucked up on the play, goddammit. He was wide fucking open. Because this bitch is talking about how she's a fucking vegan. But all she wants is Gino's meat. So, now I'm starting to get hooked on this shit. And remember, it's 90 day fiance. Shit, it could be even the day, the 90 days before the 90 day fiance. Some fucking prequel shit. Because, yeah, if you didn't know this, they do prequels now with reality TV. I mean, Shit, I guess it's kind of like the fucking, what's that shit, Flavor Flav shit, and then, no, Flavor Flav made it, but then the bitch in New York got her own show after that, so that's not even a prequel, but, but yeah, anyways, trust me, the prequel's pretty fucking good, um, so, 90 Day Fiance, it's just a fucking, just a calamity of Spell just it. people there, and they're, they're horrible people, some of them are just terrible people, and, they're just, they lie about who they are, they lie about what they do, they cheat, they fucking, they, I don't know, man, they just do the, the most shittiest things that you would do for a human being, or to a human being. There's this one fucking big white bitch, big, big chick, I mean, and you know, the girls need loving too, but god damn it, I don't know about this bitch, but uh, that bitch was fucking big, uh, out of my weight range, I'm you know, stick to maybe junior mid light heavyweight. You know, that bitch was a super heavyweight. But damn, damn, yeah, that's how that's how shocked I am of her weight and how she was just throwing it around this poor Asian dude. That's right. She was with Asian dude in China and he was like, I love you. I love you. Something like that. You know, something Asian y. Think of your own fucking your own voice for it. And, but it's not Japanese. Don't get it confused with Japanese or Korean. It's Chinese. So this fool is just telling her the COVID, the COVID. You know, I can't go because COVID. And she's like, I don't care. I'm going to go fuck around. And so she goes and cheats and shit. And she lets it be known. And uh, and then everybody else starts capping on her, calling her a hoe at the reunion and everything like that. And you're, you're a bitch. How could you do that? You're the worst human being. I got no respect for you, you fat bitch. But um, she even admits to cheating on her Asian guy again. And he was like, oh, <laughs> his face was priceless on number two, dude. He was like, oh, oh, <laughs> I wish I didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> well, but seeing a man's face get heartbroken like that on live TV, but, or it's not live, but you know what it is to us, it's live, but shit, man, it's fucking great. It's, it makes for great TV. Great bullshit that, that that just doesn't come into our lives, I would think, on a daily basis, unless you're in a toxic, tumultuous relationship, you know? But but damn it, if you're not, it makes for some good-ass shit, dude. If you're just a fucking humdrum couple fucking chilling, dude, watch some of that bullshit and talk shit to it. I shit you not. Shout out to black people, man. Or shout out to anybody who talks shit to the TV. But I think that's why black folks talk shit in the movie theaters. I do too. Because I'm just like, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, man. Just watch that shit. Talk shit about it. Call her a hoe. Have a few drinks. Loosen up. Smoke a joint. You know? Or just play it in the background, man. It's fucking amazing. I'm going to have to make some drops for that shit. Specifically, Greg, you'll be bringing you. 90 day and before the 90 day fiance drops because uh when you hear her say oh i'm a vegan gino but all i want is your meat it's over it's done you'll be hooked on the show when you fucking when i show you when you see his fucking head okay ladies and gentlemen if you're not watching the screen right now i'm gonna explain i'm gonna explain this to you as best as i can so there's a man named gino who ha is maybe, I would say, he's a white male, um, let's say 6'2", maybe, uh, dating this beautiful, uh, she must be, she's from down south, she's not Mexican, maybe Argentinian, uh, 
maybe something like that, but she's beautiful, you know. Um, and this fucking guy fucking gets text messages from her. And there are their titty pictures, everybody. And she, you think of this woman, how beautiful she is. She has a great body, rocking tits. They're up there, they're perky. Um, and, you know, I'm sure she has probably like nice brown size nipples, you know, like not not big, but not small. I'm probably quarter size, you know, well, I'm just quarter size. And, um, and dude, he's just getting naked pictures from her and sending it right to her ex-girl, to his ex-girl. Trying to make her jealous and be like, look what I got, bitch. You know, like, he doesn't say it like that because he ain't a G, but I'd be like, oh, bitch, look at this shit. I'm fucking this bitch, you old ass, hell, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, nah, he doesn't. He just does that shit to be a fucking ass, I guess. But, uh, but so they, this whole thing sparks into an argument. Psh, done, right? She's going off. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, he's going nothing because he's a bitch. Um, but the thing that makes this whole fight the best, because it's typical fight, girls, girl yelling in an accent. But why did you do that to me, Gino? Why did you do that? I suck at um, accents so fucking much. I made her sound like not cow. The fuck. He's in the tub. He's just like, oh, taking the hit. Like, but I, I, saying what he needs to say. And out of nowhere, she just starts capping off on his physical appearance and shit. Say, if you're not sexy, take off your hat. Take off your hat. And she fucking grabs his hat, fucking rips it off of him. And he's like, oh. <laughs> and he covers his head. Because I don't know if you've never seen the show. This guy, Gino, has this little slit of hair right here. Just right here, right? Just enough. Not even, I think, on the sides. It's just like right there in the back of your neck. But it fits perfectly for when he has a cap on. It looks like he has a full head of hair. Like, holy shit, okay. But yeah, he fucking, she rips that shit out. Bald, bald, bald. Except for this little piece. Oh, man. Um, oh, man, it's amazing. <laughs> and without losing a step, Gino, and this is why I love this motherfucker, Gino, without losing a step in the same fucking scene, just calmly walks up to his back, unzips it, she's still yelling, and wham, puts on another hat. He was ready, bitches, in the motherfucking tuck. He was ready. So, man, you know, I don't know, man. Some people are insane. Like, he's that wasn't his first fucking rodeo. You know, he's had his hat pulled off before. He was fucking prepared. He's like, always keep a hat on tuck. It's like the other guys. He's like, I always keep little river band. I got six discs. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> fucking hey, man. But man, that was the best. And I was like, all right, you know what? Maybe Gino might be a gangster. He might be a gangster. And then there's other people in there that are just like backgrounds, you know? They're my favorite dude. And this black chick who are probably like the best couple because the dude gets her pregnant. But I don't know though, because the chick said she was with her man when he got, when she came back to her Arab dude. And she tells the Arab dude, um, using phone translator, mind you, they're having a full blown conversation about their life. And she said, uh, before I came here, I was feeling horrible and I stayed the night at my ex-husband's house, uh, but nothing happened and the tramp slays, huh, 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 huh. and then he's like, he's like, oh, he's like, ha, da, ha, da, ha, da, da, da. you know, all angry and shit or not angry, but just something, you know, and it translates. So it's horrible because they're trying to use the emotions that they have. But they have to restrain themselves to try to to use this damn translating module. And it's hilarious. Also, too, the black chick ends up being pregnant the first month in of staying with the, with the Arab dude. When I just went, and if you were just paying attention, or if I told the story well enough, the black chick was with her ex-husband right before she left. So maybe, even though she said no, she didn't sleep with the husband. Mm, mm, mm. He probably busted a fucking nut in that bitch, got her pregnant, sent her whole ass back to the Arab dude like a fucking boss. But yeah, because I mean, shit, you know what? Bitches lie, men lie, people lie. So it, it only fucking makes sense, man. But they were the best, though, you know, out of the couples, though. They kept it real. They were cool. The guy forgave her. Taking the kid, they, I think they got married and all that shit. They actually fucking got married and shit. <laughs> They're out there living their best lives and shit. And fucking, 
and somewhere stand, you know, Pakistan. Nah, no, I think if I'm being for real, for real, if I'm actually not trying to be stupid, um, I I can't remember where he was actually from. Like I'm fucking trying to. No, he was from fucking buttfuck somewhere, Middle East somewhere. But yeah, shit. And then, oh man, it's it's just great, compelling TV, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't get a chance, please go watch 90 Day Fiance. That's it.